Five trillion gallons of rain. The Northwest is drowning in a river in the sky. In early December 2025, a narrow, blazing ribbon of moisture, an atmospheric river, rode across the Pacific, slammed into coastal mountains, and turned ordinary rain into an extraordinary disaster. In just days, neighborhoods flooded, rivers crested to record levels, and communities scrambled for safety. Think of the atmosphere as a conveyor belt for water. Atmospheric rivers are those conveyor belts. Long, concentrated plumes of vapor hundreds to thousands of miles long, but relatively narrow across. When they meet land and are pushed up by mountains, moisture condenses and pours out as relentless rain or warm snowmelt. They carry as much water as several mighty rivers combined, sometimes many times the Mississippi's daily flow. This event was supercharged. Multiple Pacific systems stalled and merged, and unusually warm ocean temperatures north of Hawaii fed extra moisture into the plume. Forecasters measured core IVT, the standard metric for AR strength, above 750-800 kg per meter per second, a level associated with high flood risk. The result, days of continuous heavy rain instead of one quick storm. Across western Washington, meteorologists and hydrologists estimated roughly 5 trillion gallons of rain fell in about a week, enough water to fill major reservoirs many times over. Local gauges recorded a foot or more in some places, numerous rivers crested at or above historic levels. The floods triggered evacuations, threatened levees and infrastructure, and left communities facing long recovery. Scientists watch where an AR's core is aimed, how fast it moves, and its IVT. Duration matters as much as intensity. A moderate AR that stalls can cause more flooding than a short, intense burst. Forecast centers like CW3E, NOAA, and the NWS now use IVT maps and ensemble models to predict where damage will concentrate and when to warn communities. Climate warming doesn't create ARs by itself, but warmer oceans and air hold more moisture which can make the wet phases heavier. That means when an AR does strike, it can unload more water than similar events decades ago, increasing flood risk for rivers, coastal areas, and low-lying communities. The sky's rivers return each season. And this episode is a reminder. Stronger forecasting, resilient infrastructure, and community preparedness save lives. If you live in flood-prone areas, heed local warnings, know your evacuation routes, and stay informed. This river in the sky may fade, but its lessons must not.